I'm going to show you some of my 50-50 tricks for making a healthier version of some of the foods you're using, which is basically making a 50-50 combination to make it healthier. So we'll start with, uh, for instance, mayonnaise, which is very high in fat. So what you can do is you can take an equal amount of mayonnaise, let's say in this case, uh, two tablespoons, right? So there's one, roughly, and two, does not have to be exact, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, and you combine it half and half with non-fat Greek yogurt. They're making lots of great non-fat Greek yogurts right now. They're very thick. And so you take the, an equal amount of this, about two tablespoons, half and half, and you just make that combination. You mix it up with either by hand or with a little mixer. That's about all it takes right there. There you have a 50-50 version, much healthier. You can use it for potato salad, for sandwiches lower in fat, and you still get that great mayonnaise taste. You can do the same thing with sour cream. Even low-fat sour cream still has a fair amount of fat. So you can use uh, sour cream with the non-fat Greek yogurt 50-50, and you have a combination for wherever you might use your sour cream. And it tastes very similar because it has kind of an acidic taste to begin with, the yogurt does. Uh, we can do it with milk. This is how uh, I, start, I stopped drinking full-fat milk, because I started mixing full-fat milk with 2% to get down, to get used to it. Then I mixed 2% with 1%. And finally, I mixed low-fat and fat-free milk. And, you, and if you're looking to get all the way down to fat-free, this is a great way to, to uh, train yourself. You basically take a pitcher and pour, you know, make a 50-50 combination of both the milks, keep it in the fridge, and that way you can reduce the fat intake and still get milk and take it down as far as you want to take it. This also applies to rice. Now here's the thing about rice. Of course you know brown rice is much healthier than white rice. It has a lot more fiber and more vitamins. But everybody likes the, you know, the white uh, long grain rice. So what I have done, the brown rice takes 45 minutes to cook. This takes 20 minutes to cook. So you start cooking the brown rice. After about 20, 25 minutes, you throw in an equal amount of the white rice and you cook that through and you get a combination so you get the, the fiber and the benefits of the brown rice and the softness of the white rice and you get, even if you just take it that far, it's still a healthier version of rice and it might take you to where you can just use brown rice all the time. You can do it for flour. I do it, I keep a mixture all the time of whole wheat pastry flour and white flour and I keep it in a canister like this and you just, I actually am using mostly whole wheat pastry flour now for all my baking, but this is how I got there. I would take like an equal amount, let's say, of, of white flour, about one cup of white flour, one cup of whole wheat pastry flour, about half and half. You can use this combination for just about any baking, except something maybe like an angel food cake, but you just kind of put this in a canister, you shake it up a little bit, and you can use this for cookies, and breads, especially quick breads, things like that, and you get a lot more fiber and a lot better for you to use this combination. If you saw my other video, you see that I combine butter with canola oil half and half, so every time I use butter, I'm using half the fat because I mixed it with canola oil and I keep it in the fridge. Okay, here's that butter mixture I talked about. It's half and half canola and butter, and you see how soft and spreadable it stays, and every time I, I need butter, I use this, and it's half the saturated fat right there. So. Okay, now on to fruit juice. Fruit juice sounds like a really healthy drink, and it, but it does have a lot of sugar. Even if it's natural sugar, it's still a lot of sugar. So what I, what I would recommend, what's really recommended by everyone now for children, especially drinking fruit juice, half and half with water. Uh, you dilute it, you take you know, an equal amount roughly, or you can start with a little more and a little less to get kids used to it, and about an equal amount of water. And this is also recommended even for orange juice, even fresh squeezed orange juice. It still has sugar, so if I squeeze it fresh, I still dilute it with a little bit of water so I don't get all that sugar in at once. This is a great way to get your kids to have less sugar. Now, here is another really important one, soft drinks. I don't drink regular soft drinks. I don't like high fructose corn syrup. Uh, I will find one if I crave them. I find one at the health food store that has uh, the sweetened with just sugar. I use China Cola. I use Real Cola. There's a couple of brands, several brands that don't have high fructose corn syrup, but I still dilute it because it still has sugar. It, whatever, you know, it's still sugar. So I dilute it with a sparkling water like Perrier or Pellegrino or club soda, whatever has bubbles in it. You just get a glass, 50-50. You pour in some of the cola. There's all the bubbles. A little bit more, even when, it might be a little bit more, a little bit less when you start, but 50-50, really, since you get all the bubbles 
And there's, since these, juice, these drinks are so sweet, there's a 50-50 combination that's so much better for you. I hope you'll do this for your kids. Every time they drink a, a juice or a soft drink, dilute it half and half. Give them half the sugar. So that's my 50-50 rules. I hope you'll try them.